So aside from being the first ever champions of the Canadian Premier League, winning both legs of the final, and having the league's top scorer, Hamilton's Forge FC scored some incredible goals this season. Including both legs of the final, they scored a total of 47 goals in 30 league games. We've narrowed it down to our 10 favorite goals of the inaugural season. This top 10 is presented by the Forge's Board Soccer Podcast, a proud member of the Northern Starting 11 Network. All game footage is courtesy of One Soccer. You can watch extended highlights of each game at youtube.com slash one soccer. At number 10, we have Anthony Novak scoring against Pacific FC. He receives a ball from Daniel Crutzen, chips it up to himself and buries it far corner in the third minute. Novak, more like Yesvak. At number nine, we have Tristan Borges against Valor FC. The goalkeeper is in a good position, but when you give Borges this much room, he's going to punish you. And it doesn't matter that he's basically at a standstill. He can still generate the power in his shot. At number eight, we have 19-year-old Monty Mosin in his debut versus Pacific FC. He starts off by fumbling the ball before it's recovered to him from Kwame Awua. He lets the ball run through his leg and he blasts it over the Pacific keeper. Pretty confident for a player making his debut. At number seven, we have Kyle Becker's goal against Cavalry FC. Kwame Awua skips past the tackle down the wing, picks out his cross, and then the volley is lasered in by Becker. What I like about this goal is his movement off the ball to find the space, and his patience to just set himself, and well, no keeper in the world is stopping this shot once he connects with it. At number six, Tristan Borges scores directly from a corner kick against HFX Wanderers. The audacity this guy has, Can't blame the keeper for that reaction. At number five, Jonathan Grant. Forge versus Cavalry. Chris Nanko picks up the ball during transition, outpaces the defender, and plays it to Tristan Borges, who switches the point of the attack. And then Johnny Grant's able to set himself and curl the ball into the far corner with his weaker foot. His first professional goal and the game's match winner as well. At number four, we have the set piece against York 9 FC. Nanko fakes his shot and dummies the ball in one motion, and Borges makes no mistake. Watch as Awua ducks for his life as well. At number 3, Emery Welshman against Pacific FC. The ball is played over top by Chornier. Watch how Welshman posts up against the defender, uses his strength, lets the ball roll across his body, and then chips the keeper. A goal any center forward would be proud of, and enough to book his flight into the European leagues. At number two, redemption for Tristan Borges. Moments after Borges is denied at the penalty spot, Chris Nanko dances around the cavalry defender down the line and keeps the ball in play. Nanko finds gorgeous Borges, who takes a touch into the penalty box. He blasts it far post and puts his side up 1-0 on aggregate. This goal would eventually be the one that secures the North Star Shield for Forge FC. At number one, it had to be Cadell Thomas against Valor FC. I love how he was booked for time wasting right before he did this, but I'm not sure our commentary can do the school justice. So we've called in a favor from BN Sports' Ray Hudson and made sure to show you every angle. Still time, two minutes more of added time. Magic. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! It into the net. Astonishing! This is not just a dream, it's a wet dream of orgasmic proportions. Take a look at this and Pinkin jaws up off the floor. Amazing dribbler through players inside of a telephone box and he emasculates them one after another. He's got an algebraic equation to solve in the blink of a bee's eye and he does it. It's perfection!